City Nashville Hallelujah praise the Lord I want to thank God for a day like this, a day filled with joy, a day filled with blessing. For it is the day the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Let's just share a word of prayer. Father, we're grateful for bringing us into a new day, filled with testimony, filled with joy. We are grateful for your mercy and your love. Thank you. Today we ask that you speak your word to us, open our eyes to see and reveal Jesus to us. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Today is the 15th day in the month of February in the year 2022. And the topic before us today says divinely made part one. Divinely made part one. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. The Bible says, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he then. We're also going to read the book of Hebrews chapter 2 from verse 6 to 8. Hebrews chapter 2 from verse 6 to 8. The Bible says, but once, but one testified in a certain place saying, what is man that you are mindful of him? Or the son of man that you take care of him? Verse 7 says, You have made him a little lower than the angels. You have crowned him with glory and honor and set him over the works of your hand. Verse 8 says, You have put all things in subjection under his feet. For in that you put all in subjection under him, he left nothing that is not put under him, but now we do not yet see all things put under him. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in the name of Jesus. Divinely made part one. The memory verse says God created man in his own image. So we as children of God, we are created in God's own image. Now from where we read in Hebrews chapter 2, it says that what is man that you are mindful of him? Now, the first thing that should trigger your heart is that God is ever mindful of you. Irrespective of your situation or your circumstances now, God is thinking about you. God has you in mind. You know, when they say somebody says somebody has you in mind, you know, you should be hopeful. You should be joyful. The Bible says, what is man that you are mindful of him? So God has you at the back of his mind. He has not forgotten you. Now, your current situation but look as if God has forgotten you. But the Bible says, God is mindful of you. He's mindful of you. He has you at the back of his mind. He has not forgotten you. Though men may forget you, but the Bible says, God is mindful of you. Now he says, or the son of man that you take care of him. God is the one who take care of us. So now the, the other part says, you have set him over the works of your hand. God has put you and I in charge of situations. So you have put all things in subjection under his feet. Now the Bible is very clear about those things we're saying this morning. That God is mindful of you. God has put everything in subjection under your feet. Now it means that you are a core creator with God. He said God created man in his own image. So you have been created in God's own image. You are divinely made. You are a special breed. Now, 1 Peter 2 9 says, But you are a chosen generation. You've been chosen. A royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people set apart. So you are a special person. You are peculiar. Now, you are not just anybody. You're a special breed to God. So God has made you divinely, specially. God took extra time, let me use that word, to create you as his child. Now, let's see what our Father and Lord has to say. That is said. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female, created he then. And God blessed them. You are blessed already. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moved upon the earth. So God created you to have dominion. 
Right? Like we read in the book of Hebrews, it said, Hebrews 2, it says, you have put all things in subjection under his feet. Now, the same thing we saw in Genesis chapter 1, 27, we said, God said, be subdue and have dominion. So God created you to have dominion. You are a dominionaire. God created you and I to have dominion. Now, that's a being created in the image of God and having dominion over everything he created is the best thing that can ever happen to man. Psalm 139 verse 14 says, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Fearfully and wonderfully made. So, no matter how people, whatever, whatever name people decide to call you, let them know that the scripture says you are fearful and wonderfully made. No matter whatever it is, people names, people call you, or your current situation, you are fearful and wonderfully made. Now, Hebrews 2 7 says, Thou made him a little lower than the ages, thou crownest him with glory and honor. So, you've been crowned. There's a crown on your head. You've been crowned what? With glory and honor, and he has set him over the works of the hand. Now, that is said, as it was in the beginning, so it is now. But as a sin led to the loss of man original status, as Adam and Eve should change themselves at the beginning by surrendering their authority to the enemy of out of ignorance, so many are still doing today. So the dominion that was lost in Adam, God brought forth in Jesus Christ to restore it back to us. So that is said, many as out of ignorance are still submitting. The Bible says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So ignorance can rob you of your birthright in God. It can rob you and I of our birthright in God. That is said, sin turned us to servants without authority, who became ineffective and weak carriers of God's image. Who became ineffective. So sin robbed us of our title. It stripped us of, of that dignity and all that belonged to us. So, however, that is it, out of mercy and compassion, compassion, Jesus Christ came to clean up the mess by paying the ultimate price. So a price was paid already. Colossians 1 says, Who had delivered us from the power of darkness? Who had delivered us? And has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. So there's a translation that's happened to us. Yes, that dominion was lost in Adam, but when the price was paid through the breaching of the blood of Jesus, says we've been delivered from the power of darkness and we've been translated, we've been reignited into the kingdom of his dear son. So in whom, can you see, we have redemption through his blood. The access we have is the blood that was shed, that price that was paid. The Bible says, ye are bought with a price. So that price that was paid is the precious blood of Jesus. Said, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? So therefore, every human being, irrespective of color, nationality, knowledge of bad conditions, is wonderfully made with a potential for greatness. So you have, you have the potential for greatness inside you. The seed of God is in you. That seed of greatness is inside of you. That seed, that incorruptible seed is inside you. You know what a seed is? A seed germinates, you know, and builds up. So that seed of God, that incorruptible seed of God is inside you as a child of God. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. That is said, unfortunately, however, many are living far below their potential due to ignorance. You've allowed, we've allowed the enemy to rub off of that victory, that price that was paid for us. Jesus came to show us how to live in this world as carriers of God's image so that, we'll be allowed, so that we may follow in his footsteps. Jesus told them, follow me and I will make you. So our making in the kingdom of God is by following. Say, follow me and I will make you. Our making spiritually, our making financially, for us to be made in every area of our life is by our following the master. Now, 1 John 2, 6 says, He that said, he that said he abided in him ought himself also to walk as he also walked. So Jesus came to show us how to walk. We need to walk in his footsteps by walking as he walked. To reach out, to reach our full potential in this world, we must accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, then follow in his footsteps. We need to follow 
in the full steps. So say, follow me. We need to follow the full steps of the master. That is the only way. He said, I am the way. No other way. He is the only way. You know, following the full steps daily, you will fulfill your glorious destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. You have a glorious destiny. You've been bought with a price. And that price is the precious blood of Jesus. Don't let that blood be in vain in your life. The Lord bless you. Today, that is said, our prayer point says, Please, Father, help me to, to closely follow your footsteps to the hand. Father, help us to closely follow your footsteps to the hand. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our hymn is in his name 14. This is nearer my God to thee. We need to keep following in the footsteps of the master. Say, so follow me and I will make you. Our making is in following. Until we follow, we cannot be made. Lord bless you and keep you. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Today.